When an error occurs in a UiPath process, we have two ways to investigate it. The first one is logs, and the second one is a screenshot. If both of these methods do not give any indication to what happened, we are basically left with an error that we can't explain. Well, until now, because UiPaths have just introduced screen recording of build transaction items. And today we are going to see exactly how we can use it. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we have a really simple process that we are going to use for uh, the demonstration. It's a process that takes uh, city names and then searches for the weather for these cities. If it finds the weather in Google, it will show me the weather on the screen in a message box. If it doesn't find it, it will just mark the transaction item in the queue as failed and then we will be able to see the recording. So this is a really simple example, but at the end of this video, you will be able to apply this method to any process that you have in your iPad. Okay, so uh, some prerequisites. So here I have uh, a queue named cities. This queue already has three transaction items. The first one has Paris. The second one as New York, as the city, and the third one has somewhere, which I believe there is no city in the world called somewhere, so it should fail at this uh, transaction. I already have a process uh, published uh, called Weather Cities, and in this process, if I go to Edits and I go to Additional Settings, I have to toggle this job recording, and I have to choose Video, and then I have to choose Record and Store Failed queue transactions. This is very important. And once I do that, I will be able to basically launch my process and I will be good to go. So the process gets the transaction item. Then after that, it will uh, start uh, using the transaction item. Then it will search the simple process we talked about. And then if it, if it finds it, it will say it is successful. If it doesn't find it, it will basically say it's failed. So that is the process and we will be able to launch it now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and launch the process and see what's gonna happen. So we're gonna go to my workspace, automation and then jobs. And from here, I'm gonna click on start. I will of course choose the process, whether cities, and then I'm gonna leave this as unattended. And then I will choose my machine and then I will click on start. So now the process is running and it will start doing its thing for Paris. It's already have found it. Then it's, so it's going to show me the, the message box for New York. It's going to do the same thing. Then hopefully for the third one is going to fall an error, whether in somewhere, there is no place called somewhere. So Google didn't show anything. So we have an error, no weather found for somewhere. And yep, it should, uh, close uh, Chrome and everything has finished. So the process has finished. And now if I go to queues and I click here and I click on uh, the three dots and view transactions, I will see that we have two successful. If we click on the three dots for successful, open recording is not going to be available, but for the failed one, it is going to be available. And now from here, we're going to be able to open the recording and see exactly what happened with that failed error. It could show me a little bit of the uh, previous uh, transaction item, but that's only because the transaction was so uh, was so uh, so short. But as you can see, I can see the transaction and I can see what happened during the failed transaction item. So yeah, that's basically it. I can close the window from here, and now I have the best way to troubleshoot my processes, which actually see in the processes happen when uh, the transaction fails so yeah that has been me thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video drop a like and subscribe and until next time catch you guys on the next one ciao